Now recognized as a provisional sport for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, the perception of cheerleading is changing, seeing participation reach extraordinary heights around the country. Last year, around 52,000 people competed across the 21 championships. Tashma Zvinskis says the growing popularity is because there is a team for everyone. Because you've got your smaller girls who are your flyers who go up in the air, you've got your bases who are the really strong girls, you've got your really tall girls who are your back spots, so it really caters to everyone. The all-female club is located in Richmond with their youngest competitor just six years old. The highly athletic sport requires the athletes to train up to five hours a week to perfect a two and a half minute routine. World's competitor Maddie Parker says cheerleading is built on team camaraderie and trust. It's just very different to other sports. You have gymnastics where it's so serious and I, it's just a combination if you can have so much fun while working really hard and you just gain so much from the sport. Cheerleading is also a great way to build confidence and strength from a young age. I've gained so much confidence throughout cheerleading. When I first started when I was younger I was so nervous and I was just a very shy girl. And then growing up, especially when I did start coaching as well, I got so much more confident. Next month, the Australian All-Star Cheerleading Federation are expecting 12,000 competitors over the three-day championships on the Gold Coast. Not only will the winners be crowned national champs, they may also receive a world bid, a chance to compete alongside the world's best at Orlando Disney World. Pure All-Stars have their sights set on three of these world bids. The teams who receive a bid will travel and stay together for the 10 days in their pursuit to a world title. The kids stay at Disneyland, they get to go to all the Disney theme parks as well, so whether you go well or not, you still get your Disney theme parks at the end, which is what makes it a lot of fun for everyone anyway. Everyone cheers on each other. Like, I'll never forget sitting in the stadium and just hearing everyone just scream when everyone hits a routine. Like, it's insane. Laura Hingston, Newsline.